Welcome back everyone. In this episode, we're looking at wrestling figures. My name is Go Carlo. I want to say thank you to my friends in this video, Body Slam Bodega and Now Home NYC. You can follow them on Instagram, links in the comments. I need everybody to leave a like on this video and write a comment, subscribe and hit the follow button. Please check out my other pages on Instagram and Twitch and TikTok. But let's get the video started guys, enjoy. It's also, I love this display, man. What are these called, magic cases? No, these so, are actually just detox from Ikea. Detox. Yeah, That's so if you're a called. figure collector, like it's pretty much the entry level, like gateway into displaying your figures. And you have to do your own custom lighting on here. Yeah, it's just an LED strip that I run through the top. I don't want to give away all my secrets, yeah, but yeah. it doesn't really matter. I have a power bank that's like right on, right on the top. Oh, See, from one collector to the next, I'm I'm asking him these tips because he he knows how to display his collection. We gotta take some some tips from this guy, man. What's your name, bro? My name's Eric. I'm with Body Slam Bodega on Instagram. So nice. tell me about you. You collect? Uh, yes, I collect and way too much. So this is an overflow of my personal collection. Damn! Look at this. Damn! NWO Nash and Hall. Yo, our boy hooked us up with, uh, yo, honestly, I buy a lot of, like, mid-carters, like, this is some real heat in my collection, man. This is some real heat. That Kevin Nash, R.I.P. Scott Hall. But, yo, thank you for the hookup, man. Check it out, guys. Check it out. Find me on Instagram at Body Slam Bodega. Dude, we've been hanging out with the new homie, man. He hooked it up with, dude. Kevin Nash, NWO for life, bro. But yo, you won't see a wrestling collection like this anywhere else, yo. Dude, let's go. Shout out to our homie, man. Dude, NWO for life. No worries, bro. And something I want to say is, this, this is something that not everybody knows about, but I'm a big Power Ranger fan, but not just Power Rangers, Tokusatsu, but not just that. We have everything from All Japan Pro Wrestling, New Japan Pro Wrestling. Dude, we have everything. Sentai, Power Rangers, wrestling. We have anime stuff, Dragon Ball. You guys don't even want to know. I got some rare Dragon Ball stuff here. Oh yeah, big Dragon Ball collector. Oh my God, do you want to say what's up to the vlog? Hello, hello. So, what's your name on uh, Insta? It's now Home NYC. We specialize in all Japanese goods. If you take a look at the packaging, it's the Preservation Museum. I'm gonna be tackling collections one step at a time. We just finished our whole Pro Desu collection. If you look over here, I essentially just did a whole museum preservation presentation on the Eugene Gumball collection. Next, we'll be going Tokusatsu and beyond. Hopefully, down the line, I'll get to some Dragon Ball Z. And Dude. I want to thank you for coming and checking me out Show here. Show us uh, your Instagram. Do you have an Instagram page or anything? I do, yeah. Sure. Let's do it. Do you have any other pages anywhere else? Just in our home. Or just, uh, just Instagram for now? Instagram, and then you can find me on my website. It's uh, nowhomeshop.com. On there, you'll find my web store where I'll just upload it according to whatever I'm showcasing at the moment on Instagram. And then there's also my Preservation Museum section where I do detailed write-ups on specific collections. Now, for the page, if you're taking a look here, so recently I've been showcasing vintage posters. Here's King of Coliseum Green, where it was uh, Zero One in Noah's roster. Hey, scroll up so we can see your name too. Oh yeah, yeah, right here, bro. Now home NYC, that's my mascot. There, fix the top there. Boom. Now home NYC. Mm. Yes, yes. Museum that you'll find at home. But yeah, I'm I'm really stoked to share with everybody. I am the leader and founder of the Now Home Preservation Museum. 
You can follow me on Instagram at NowHomeNYC or visit me directly at NowHomeShop.com. You'll find the commerce of all these rare Japanese goods. At the same time, you'll find a story with a this is great, Seriously, guys, you know me. I'm loving this collection of everything from Sentai to Japanese wrestling to Dragon Ball. Dude, shout out to the boy, now home NYC, man. Much love, brother. Really have Hayabusa tattooed. It's one of my favorites. Holy crap, you're a real Japan. Japan wrestling fan, man. Dude, hardcore. And one more time, check out this diorama because I'm a big fan of figure photography and this is an impressive diorama, man. So they actually never made a ring for this series of figures that they made for a bunch of different Japan wrestling promotions. So this is an amazing diorama. This is an awesome ring from our boy, now home NYC, man, follow him. This is my Instagram, Body Slam Bodega. I do a little bit of figure photography, mostly in the white box. If you're looking for anything, you can just hit me with a DM. I'll reply probably 10 seconds later. Go to the page, show them, show them the, the home page. Right here. Scroll up, scroll up. It's a fairly new account. Oh, it's all so. good. Let's have fun. What got you into wrestling? Um, my dad. My dad got me into wrestling. He grew up during the tape trade era. So he was watching um, all these Japanese wrestling and um, just WWF back in the day when he was in his 20s. I was in the 90s. And um, yeah, I mean, he introduced me to the Ruthless Aggression era. And um, yeah, I fell in love with Batista because I found out he was Filipino and I'm Filipino. and. Yeah, I mean, it just, it just spiraled from there. How'd you start collecting? I started, uh, I've been collecting like forever. Um, my collection has grown though, ever since the pandemic. Having nothing to do and a lot of, I guess, free time, you know? Like, the only thing that was open during the pandemic was Target. So my collection grew from a small amount of these Jax figures, all of that. I realized, hey, I really miss it. Um, I really miss wrestling. I found an Eddie Guerrero Elite something something Legends, and that pretty much started it off for me. Wow. Yeah, so during the pandemic, I was just hunting, looking for stuff with the intention of just keeping it. Then I realized, not to condone like any scalping or anything like that, but hey, like my brother needs one. Uh, my friends need one. We all love wrestling, so it's like, why not just get it for the homies? What are you watching more nowadays? Are you watching wrestling on live currently at all? Or? Yeah, uh, so AEW definitely is like my preferred show. Um, it's so hard to watch WWE because it's just five minutes of wrestling for the whole show, and then the rest is just segments of them talking about how much they hate each other. You know, it's, it's unbearable, and it's kind of borderline embarrassing. I don't want to be the guy and I'm probably going to be crucified on YouTube for saying that for uh, WWE fans, but uh, yeah, AEW is just like a, I feel a more mature product. Um, as an adult, it's easier to watch. Yeah, you know, wrestling, there are predetermined outcomes, but at the end of the day, it's it's a show. Have you seen the documentary uh, series, Dark Side of the Ring? Yes, I have seen Dark Side of the Ring. Did you like that? Yeah, I love that. It actually got me more into the history of everything. You know, I didn't grow up during the 80s or anything, but it taught me more about, um, I guess, wrestlers like Bruder, Bruiser Brody and like how they passed and all of that. I always knew who they were, but I never knew in depth like what was going on. With Luna Vachon as well. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, like good things on that show. What are some of your other interests besides wrestling? Okay, so I like wrestling. My main interests actually were, when I first started collecting as a kid, were Gundams. So I built little model kits. I, it's a long story, I guess, growing up in the 90s, early 2000s. Um, I'm sure you know about this, but like Toonami just showed up on Cartoon Network one day and all this anime just overflowed into our American lives and it's just, you know, growing up, it's amazing.
Top. Thank you, man. And yeah. what was the name of your Instagram again? One more time where they can find you. That's uh, at Body Slam Bodega on Instagram. Thank you, man. And that's awesome hearing that uh, you were a big uh, Gunplay fan, you know, a big Gundam fan. Yeah, yeah. You know, even me, I've been to places like Korea where that stuff is huge, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's really cool that you also liked uh, gun Gundams too. That's that's what really started it all for you, man. Yeah, yeah. That was that's crazy. Thing for me, man. But it was really, really awesome talking about wrestling with another wrestling fan here with uh, Body Slam Bodega. Check him out, guys. And come to ToyCon. I said your name right, right? Body Slam Bodega. Oh my God, thank you guys. But uh, I had to, I had to get some Keshis, man. These things are rare. Can't forget the Keshis. Yeah, man, some muscle figures too. I really, I really like these figures too. And I'm still thinking about some of these uh, wrestling figures. We got a Noki. We got everybody, man. Yeah, there you go. How much are you asking? Uh, ten bucks. Any of them are ten. For both of them? Both of them? You need your bag? I gotta have these. I gotta have these, bro. So what what do you know about those Dragon Ball Keshis? They're hard to find. Yeah, even, that's why I'm getting them. Even if you go to Japan, yeah. they are so much money. And that's like a mix of a, like all years. Okay. Yeah. Bro, take them. Take this one on me as well. No. Yeah, come on. No, thank you, bro. My pleasure. Thank you so much, everyone. This episode was awesome because we got to look at some Japanese toys and Japanese wrestling. But not just that, we got to check out WWE and WWF figures. And we made some new friends, guys. Please check out Bodega Body Slam and our other friend, Now Home NYC. They have really awesome Instagram pages. I will say I love following them because they post a lot of cool stuff. Something else I really enjoyed about this episode was seeing how they have their figures displayed. They told us about the Detolf case from Ikea. So we learned how to display our figures, guys. But that's it for this time, everyone. This was me, Go Carlo. You can follow me on Twitch. Please leave a like on this YouTube video and leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm also going to be posting this on TikTok and Instagram. But this is the end of the video for this time, guys. I'll see you next time. Thank you all so much.